Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. Today I'm going to show you some of the fish that are available or will be available for a very limited time on my website creativepetkeeping.com. Here are the first two placket females. We have a purplish uh, female that is currently in the stage of marbling. Here I'm going to add a little bit more light on her. She does have a pineapple type pattern. She is kind of becoming very light colored, kind of pinkish in the light. She has been slowly changing. She might become cellophane or become a koi in the future. It's kind of hard to tell at this point, but she is a very lovely female. She is number 28. And then on the other side, we have a metallic female, and it's kind of hard to really appreciate her if I can hopefully shine the light on her a little better but with the metallics they look really boring at first until you shine light directly on them and then you can see the sheen so she has a darker brownish reddish under color that kind of pops up on uh, her fins but on the top she has this lovely aqua colored metallic sheen so let me try to shine it a little better yeah there we go so you can see it she is a really pretty girl you can see her egg spot really well because she is darker colored and she's a little uh tired because she's been in this container for 20 minutes now so she's not as spunky as this one but she does perk up and has a very nice personality and as you can see the sheen is really pretty and then this girl looks really lovely as well. I did just feed them before filming so they're a little chubby but you see the dorsal fin? The pattern on her dorsal fin is really pretty. So this is number 28 and this is female number 25. Both are very very lovely girls. I wanted to show you guys something interesting. I put one of my males uh, next to the female and look at her. She's darkening up for him so she can show her breeding bars a little bit better. So that's one of the very, oh, I'm zooming out. That's one of the very interesting things about bettas is that they do change color. So the same fish I just showed you that was a lot lighter, all of a sudden, now became darker. She saw a boy and she has to show up, not show up, but show off for him. But at least now we can see her kind of open up her fins and flare a little bit and get spunky. So she's being really cute, cute little girly, darkening up in my photos.
I'm trying to get this guy to flare, but he gets too distracted with his own reflection at the bottom. So I put him next to two girls, two of his sisters, in hopes that at least one of them will get him excited enough to flare. It seems to be kind of working. He's a pretty boy though. Yep, no, nope, he's gonna flare it himself. His own reflection. Yep, just just gonna ignore the girls and have a battle with himself. This is number thirty two and he's a special boy. He has very, very long ventral fins. And he's a really nice boy. He's also a spade tail. Well, he's not flaring at himself and his own reflection. He's quite handsome. I just thought I wanted to film his funny behavior of having a battle with himself. It's also kind of late. They would be sleeping by now, but I really wanted to finish taking photos of these guys, so... They're a little tired. Not as energetic, because it is um, about 11 at night, so their lights turn off at 9, so they would have been sleeping two hours ago. But just kind of wanted to film this. A little bonus clip of this cute guy. Maybe because he's got two girls here now, they'll get him excited enough. So you can kind of start flaring. Sometimes the boys won't flare that much for girls. Sometimes they'll flare a lot better for other males. So we'll see. Oop, lost my focus. He's gonna fight himself. I could bring in one of my big males, maybe. That might get him excited. Girls are excited a bit to see a male, but he's not so much. When in doubt, bring out the big guns. This is the male that I'm keeping. That I will be submitting to a future International Battle Congress show. He is one of the uh, larger males from the same spawn, so he is the older brother. And temporarily he's kind of living in here. He has the biggest jar because he is a larger fish. And he definitely loves to flare, so I kind of use him to get other males excited. Because he'll dance and wiggle and show off. And sometimes that's what the other males kind of need to see to get them going. He's doing his little wiggle dance. Uh, when I move to my new apartment, I would like to get him a uh, one, probably 1 1.5 gallon uh, container with a bubble fil filter and a heater so that he'll have even more space. Uh, or maybe in the future I could give him a tank, I'm not really sure, but I would like to keep him probably in a container where I can keep carding him so I could continue to flare train him so he would do good in a show. But as you can see, see this guy, he's not flaring yet, but he's he sees him and he's on the, his sister, the girl's interested. He's not sure, he sees this flaring male, He's he gets him a little excited, but he's not sure yet. Sometimes you gotta give them a few minutes of seeing another male put on a show and I'll get them the confidence this guy would not do well in his show because he doesn't flare when he sees other fish too well but he would do probably well in a, a solo tank or maybe a community tank with other peaceful fish because he is kind of peaceful he's a mellow guy 
definitely doesn't start trouble with anyone. Oh, this guy's so excited. This guy loves the flare. I mean, he gets excited. I just changed his water today, but I, I forgot to clean his, um, the moss that's in here. So the moss had some poop in it, so I'll have to change the water again tomorrow. But every time he swims around, he makes a mess, but yep, he's going to be my show boy. That's for sure. He's the one they've chosen to represent creative pet keeping. I don't know if he would win anything, but he's spunky. I think I'm finally getting this guy a little excited. We'll see. That is the struggles of trying to photograph your fish. Um, I did notice that the fish that I can get photographed fully flaring do sell better. People do like to see the fish's form as they fully flare. So when you are uh, filming your fish, I mean photographing your fish, you want to try to get them to flare if you can. Now, if they won't, you can't force them, but what you can do, oh, let me can I zoom out, I can back out a little bit so you can see. What you can do is be patient, give your fish time. And if your fish doesn't flare, well, either try again the next day, sometimes the day you want to do it won't work and your fish is just not into it, so sometimes just trying the next day will work out and build a fish's confidence. Um, he could be too intimidated by the male as well. This girl is posing really well over here. If I can try to focus in on her. She is number 15. I think I might discount her though because her ventral fins are a little derpy and her fin did get a little nipped from when she was in the uh, spawn tank. I mean not spawn tank but the grow out tank so she might get a little discounted for that. Might be part of the flawed fish for $15. But this guy can't seem to can't seem to get him to flare. Hmm. I think what I might do is I might card him and leave him in this container. Card, the, Put the card behind the girls, put a card right here, let him sleep, and then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll uncard him and I'll try again. And I think maybe tomorrow he'll be a little more confident because he's already kind of swimming around so he might be a little more confident and want to flare at this big guy because maybe he's a little intimidating for him or one of his sisters. Oh, this guy, he's looking at him. Hmm, we'll see. We'll give it a try tomorrow. I'll let this guy rest and sleep and I don't want to tire this this guy out too much because he, I mean, he can do this forever. He's got a lot of energy but it's good exercise for him as well. So it is the next day and once again I uncarded him and he is so much more confident. Look at him flare in all his majestic glory. Let me kind of turn down the exposure here. But look at him. He's so lovely. So what that means is you got to be patient. Work with your fish. Uh, give your fish time. If your fish doesn't want to flare for you on the first day, try again later. Sometimes it's good. Oh, he's pooping right now too. But sometimes it's good to let your fish spend some time in the container. So as you can see, he was here since yesterday. This gave him an opportunity to get more familiar and be more confident as his new little temporary territory. So now when I uncard him with his little sisters and his big brother to motivate him, he is being spunky and beautiful and exactly how I want him to look for his photos. So if anyone's interested, and number 32, he's very spunky and beautiful once you give him a chance to become comfortable. And flaring is good. I've heard uh, some people say don't let your bettas flare. The issue is you don't want your betta to flare all day, but having a betta flare about two, three times a day 
for a couple minutes at a time is a great way to exercise your fish. It encourages them to, you know, open up all their fins, gets them really excited, encourages natural, you know, breeding behavior, mentally stimulates your fish. So I definitely, you know, encourage it. To me, it's like taking your dog for a walk. You take your dog for a walk every day because if they were inside your house all the time and didn't get to go anywhere, they would be very bored and fat. So flaring your fish gives your fish the opportunity to exercise and just get really, really sassy. And this guy is definitely being super sassy right now. And I hope that you are enjoying kind of watching him. I definitely think whoever uh, buys this guy will be happy with him. His fins should grow a little bigger. He still has uh, a bit more to grow so he will be a bigger guy. Probably more closer to the size of his big brother. So I hope you enjoyed this very simple behind the scenes sneak peek into the struggles and the process of what it takes to sometimes have to photograph your fish. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more awesome pet related videos. Uh, I'm still packing and getting ready for the move, so I'll try my best to make some videos for you this week and next week. But keep in mind that I am going to be at the Aquatic Experience on November 3rd and 5th. So I really hope to see you guys there. Maybe we'll meet and get to hang out a little bit. So on that note, I am going to go and edit his video, I mean edit the photos, put them on the website. CreativePetKeeping.com is where you are able to purchase all my bedas. So check them out while they're still available. These metallics will go to a pet store next week probably to be sold if I don't get to sell them because I would like to uh, sell them before I move. So on that note, I'm gonna go. Bye guys!